everyone, welcome back to the Wine Archive. Today we are back at Chateau Lagrange. Next to me is Mathieu Bord, general manager and winemaker at Lagrange. As you can see, we're in the vineyard, and that's for a reason. We are going to learn a little bit more about the terroir, what it means and what it takes to produce quality wines. Mathieu, can, can you explain a little bit more about the process and what terroir, what it is? So the terroir, the first meaning of terroir is basically the soil and the subsoil. But uh, we are located in, in Saint-Julien and uh, the terroir, when we signify the terroir with the big T, it's included much more things than only the soil and subsoil. It included also the climate, the weather conditions, the microclimate, if you are at the top of the hill, at the, uh, at the bottom of the slopes. It includes it also people who are working in the vineyard. We have the knowledge about the plots, the knowledge about uh, the way we work uh, at Lagrange, and also the different grape variety you have, uh, the grape variety, but also the rootstock. And uh, this combination of both, uh, on a soil with a microclimate, we usually define the terroir with the big T uh, like that. Interesting. So now that we know what terroir means, what is so special or unique about Lagrange terroir? The unicity of the Lagrange terroir, the first key point is we have 103 plots in one block, in one single block around the chateau, from five meters above the sea level and to 24 meters above the sea level. 24 meters is the highest point of the appellation at Saint-Julien. Basically, we have much more uh, gravel, gravelly soil on the estate. It's Gunsian gravel, which are more than 1.5 million years old. And uh, it represents 80% of the soil. And 15 years ago, I did 200 holes in the vineyard to define the different soil we have. We found 17 different soil and type of soil that we can regroup in five main gravelly soil, uh, gravelly and sand, sand and gravel, and clay and limestone soil. And how does the picking date have impact on the wine? After the knowledge about this intraplot selection, it's easy for us. We taste day by day, three hours a day with my assistant manager to uh, find the right time, the best time to, 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 to taste and to, and, and to pitch. And in the end, the date of pitching, the impact of the date of pitching is so high. If you don't understand that, you are not able to produce a great wine. You can produce wine, but not a great wine. Because two days in advance or two days later, you change totally the style of the grapes and in the end, the quality of your wines. Okay. That brings me to the next question. Do you adapt the vinification of the wine depending on the plot selection or of picking dates? Of course, Yannick, of course. As I told you, uh, we decided to pitch two days later, two days in advance, because we try to reach the good ripeness of the seeds, of the skins. And now, after that, in the vat room that you will see, we can adapt totally the way we want to extract the color, to extract the flavors, depending on what we have tasted in the vineyard. Let's go. So Yannick, we are now in the vat room. And as you know, we have 103 plots and 102 vats, stainless steel vats. It's very helpful for us to select plot and intra-plot selection, of course, as you can uh, imagine. And uh, what we have, depending on what we have tasted, uh, in the vineyard, we can adapt with my team uh, what kind of process to extract color, tannins, flavors uh, we can do. Some delestage, some pumping over, some punching down, all the facilities you can have to uh, take the best of the grapes. So for all the barrels here, what is the aging of the of the wines is it from year to year from vintage to vintage or is it some kind of recipe that you follow every year so it depends on the chateau but at lagrange uh, we use in a very traditional way and i don't change so much things because it works very well so we age our wine almost for chateau lagrange 21 months in oak but it's not a recipe it changes every year it means that it would be as the vintage 2013, which is, which is a little bit lighter, we decided to reduce to 17 months. Uh, if the wine is more concentrated, more powerful as the 2020, 2019 or 2016, as an example, we can, uh, uh, we can age until 21 months with 50, sometimes 60% new oak. Okay, so you have new oak. 
And is this only for the Grand Vin, or is it also for Le Fief? Or what, what happens with Le Fief? We age Le Fief in exactly the same way, but two things change on Le Fief. First, we decided to usually reduce the quantity of new oak, because the wine is more delicate, it's less powerful than the Grand Vin, so it can't bear so much new oak. So only 20% of new oak on Le Fief de la Grange, and the aging time is also reduced. Usually it's between 12 and 14 months, compared to 21 months for the Grand Vin. We blend after the vinification process, mm -hmm. generally three months later, in January. Then our wines age blend, it's very important because we, we believe that uh, the connection with the press wine and all the different plots, it's better to uh, blend them in, in, their, in their youth. And at the end of the aging process, we re-blend because as you know, we use different copper age and to be sure, each bottle are exactly the same. So Yannick, you know that Lagrange is producing uh, very famous red wines, but we have also uh, wine iconic white wine, Les Arômes de Lagrange, that you know uh, very well. Uh, this wine has been produced uh, at Lagrange since 1996. It's a beautiful uh, white, dry white, with the name Les Arômes, the Pierre Lily of Lagrange, the flower which are located around the lake. So for Les Arômes, um, what is the percentage of grapes, or, or what grape do you use, and how long does they age on the barrel? We use specifically the Bordeaux white grapes, mainly Sauvignon white, Sauvignon blanc, 60%, 20% Sauvignon gris, and 20% Semillon. And the blend of these three grape varieties is very nice. You have a lot of freshness, a lot of lively acidity, grapefruit, citrus on the nose. And with the uh, Semillon, the mid palate is always very fleshy. It's a very elegant wine. It's aged for six months. We're stirring the lees, fermenting oak. It's a totally different process from the red, a wine very enjoyable in its youth.